Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here. And today we're going to be building the Clang front end from Source and getting you the latest and greatest version of the Clang series of compilers. So with that said, let's go ahead and check out how to do this. So the motivation for this is if you're running Clang, for instance, and you've got a older version and for whatever reason you need to update a new version. So at the time of this recording, we are currently on LLVM version 18, which ultimately means the Clang version of the compiler is 18. So that's including Clang and Clang++. So overall, we want to go ahead and see if we can get this to a later version, because you might be building some software that depends on new C++ standard features. You might not be able to have a distribution or your package manager otherwise doesn't have a latest version of Clang. So that's the problem we're trying to solve. So we're going to build things from scratch here. So let's go ahead to the LLVM webpage, which you can just Google or go to LLVM.org here. And if you're not familiar with LLVM, that's the sort of compiler infrastructure project for building many, many different front ends for languages like C and C++ popularly, but many other tools and so on. So again, at this recording here, you can see that LLVM 18.18 is what's being built here. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do this. Again, going from the documentation page here, and what we're going to go ahead and scroll down to is the user guides here. So the user guides are going to have your how to's here. And I'm just going to give you the highlights of things to take a look on. Now, of course, if you're building specifically on an ARM architecture, you can go ahead and check this out here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up this page here for how to build the C, C++, Objective C, uh, Objective C++ front ends here, because that's got some common instructions as well as the uh, guide for building LLVM with CMake. Uh, that's typically how I've done things here. So again, uh, that's the idea here. So docs slash cmake.org, or again, you can just follow this uh, navigation here, documentation, user guides, and then building LLVM with CMake here. Um, so there are a few dependencies from this tutorial here. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, take a look at a few of them. So you are going to need CMake. I'm using a relatively new version here. Probably any version later than three is going to be fine here. Uh, you are also going to need uh, Make here. Here's the version of Make that I have available. And you are going to need some sort of C++ compiler. So typically what that means is if I do G++, for instance, um, you should have some version that's, let's say, just new enough. <laughs> and I'm also using, uh, uh, you know, a version 14 here or so. Um, so anyways, um, what we're going to want to do here or what that usually means for folks is you want to make sure that you have... Um, usually the build essential uh, package here, which gives you some of those tools like make and so on that you have available. Um, those are going to be the basics here. And if you want to use CMake with something like Ninja, which is another build system, that's also common. It's a really fast uh, way to build software. I'm just going to use make today with Unix make files. And of course, you can use CMake to generate Microsoft Visual Studio projects if you prefer or Xcode. And if you want to see that in a separate video, just let me know. Maybe I'll do that on like Windows or on my Mac or something just in case you want to see those. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and just take a look at this page again, the uh, sort of uh, CMake project here. Um, and you can see what the basics are here. So I'm just going to give you the highlights and then we'll start downloading this again. CMake, the minimum is a relatively recent version here. You'll need a uh, shell here. And what you'll also need to do is to make sure you have those tools, for instance, if you just type in like whatever your G++ compiler is, it should be able to run. That's what it means by having the path environment variable set up here. Um, because the build files are going to use whatever your default version is there. Now, an important point is you need to create a build directory. Usually I create this separately or out of the LLVM uh, source code where I'm going to download. Again, different tools will allow you to sometimes build the build within the source directory, but it's it's better to sort of build it out. That way, if you need to rebuild from source, you can do that and just sort of blow away the build directory. Uh, there might also be some issues with you know pathing and so on in various projects. Uh, but again, that that helps you get a clean build directory. So you want to make sure you build outside of the source directory. Uh, we'll have the CMake command here, and there's a bunch of different variables that we're going to want to hold on to. Um, otherwise, that might be useful. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. And then ultimately, here is our build command uh, that will run something you know of this nature. Uh, I'm going to do things to sort of run CMake and then generate a make file. And then the, I'll do a parallel build 
uh, through the make file, and that's the basic idea here. But you can follow along these instructions here, and you should be good to go here. Now let's briefly, again, take a look at building and running uh, Clang here, the Clang compiler here, just so you can see some of the CMake options. Again, we're gonna wanna download the LLVM uh, Git repository. And again, LLVM is the compiler infrastructure tool that has a lot of you know different libraries and source codes and things that we're gonna need to set up here. There's other things that you can build like various Clang tools and extras and other source code and so on, uh, but we're not gonna quite uh, need that there. Uh, and I usually just clone the whole repository. If this is too slow for you, if you're in a rush, there are some instructions about building faster. That's probably more useful if you're testing like lots of versions of the compiler or infrastructure. So if you're just doing this for your individual machine, just for simplicity's sake, this is what I've uh, used here. And again, the main project that we're gonna wanna build here, cause I wanna upgrade my Clang uh, compilers here uh, is, is this. We're gonna want some sort of CMake uh, option here. I think by default, um, you can also run all here and that'll build all the different uh, Clang projects here. So uh, that's one thing that you can do here. I'm gonna build for release mode here. So it's gonna uh, basically create a uh, optimized build, I guess, of the compilers here because I don't need the debug information. Now, if you're gonna be hacking on LLVM, for instance, you might want to change this actual variable to something like uh, release with debug or do a debug version. That way, if your plugin or something crashes for modifying the uh, compiler, you can uh, change that here. Uh, and then of course I'm going to use for the generator for CMake, just Unix make files. That's my default anyways, so you don't have to specify this. Uh, and then this is the ultimate directory where we'll build things, okay? So with that said, let's go ahead and get started and then we'll kind of poke around here uh, in the various repositories. Uh, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and get the LLVM uh, project here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this in this uh, terminal here and I'm gonna just make a directory here. Let's just call it LLVM18. Uh, right now it's gonna be in my home directory here. Um, oops, LLVM18, there we go. And let's just go ahead and paste that in here. So git clone. Again, just what I copy and pasted. Uh, let me go ahead and scroll down from here. So checking out the project. And this might take a little bit of time here, depending on you know how fast your internet connection is, how fast uh, the server is on LLVM side. Uh, otherwise here, so again, you're gonna see this take just a little bit of time here. So I'll pause the video and then uh, when it's ready, we will resume. Alrighty, so by the magic of pausing the recording and continuing, we have the LLVM uh, project uh, available. So you can go ahead and peek in here. Uh, and again, this has all the uh, source files available here. Uh, but again, I'm going to move back here and I'm gonna make my build directory here just so you can see that that is alongside the LLVM project. Okay, so that's where I'm going to uh, set things up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just keep an eye on this. Uh, so I want to go ahead and move into my build directory and then set all of my projects that I wanna set up here. Now I just wanna build Clang here. That's the only thing I care about uh, updating here. Uh, and I am gonna do a release version here. So again, if we go back to the first document here, and again, showing you how I got there, uh, let's go back uh, all the way here, LLVM, documentation, uh, and then the user guides here, and then uh, how to build, uh, let's see, the front ends, that's the first guide we had here, and then the uh, second guide, building LLVM with CMake here. Uh, and what's useful about this uh, quick start guide here, which again is gonna be very uh, similar to what we have here. Let me scroll down here. It's teaching you about CMake, uh, but it's got the frequently used uh, variables here. Oops, there we go. Um, and this is where we get like the CMake uh, build type here. And you can see we have release here. So let me go ahead back to our Clang starter guides here. Let's go ahead and just kind of see if we can put these side by side here. Uh, so I'm passing in dash D and that's sort of defining in CMake the build type release. Uh, and that's what we want here. Okay, so simple as that here. Now, again, you're gonna see these like colon string things here, but that means equal release. And that's the option here. Uh, so we want it for speed. We don't get debug info. We don't get assertions and so on. Uh, Cause if you're not developing with the Clang uh, compiler, like building tools or compiler passes or these types of things here, uh, we don't really care. I just want a fast compiler that can build source code for me. Uh, that's sort of the goal here. So here are some other options that you could do for trade-offs and so on. Um, some of the other options that we have here, you can change like the, uh, you know, some of the compilers here. Here's the frequently used uh, variables here. Uh, so again, 
In fact, I should probably just build this with LLDB. That's the debugger that tends to play nicely with Clang. Uh, and that's going to be more important, especially if you folks are on Mac, for instance, in the new like M1s with uh, Apple Silicon. Then it's going to be useful to have a debugger. GDB, as far as I know, isn't really playing that nice with it these days. Um, so that's kind of uh, a nice thing to have here. You can build other runtimes and so on for libraries. Um, there's a few other options here, like if you want to set your, your target. So again, if you're cross compiling and want to build for, you know, different machines here, those are different options and there are different linkers here that you can use. So those might be common ones. Uh, let's build Clang and LLDB because I don't think I have that on my system right now. So that'll be on the enable projects. You can also just set this equal to all and that'll build a ton of stuff and then your compile time will just uh, take longer. Okay. So that's, that's it for that here. Um, let's go ahead and see now um how to build things here again from the uh, guide here uh, so here's what we want to do our build from within the build directory so let's make sure that from LLVM here we're going to navigate into build uh, let me paste this in but I don't want to necessarily run it here uh, and we said we want to do clang and uh, LLDB uh, so let me go ahead and open up that guide where we're doing that here. Uh, LLDB. So here's the example here again. And we want to put it in quotations separated by a semicolon. So let's go ahead and do that. Semicolon LLDB. Uh, and I want to do the uh, release build here. Again, my default generator here is uh, the Unix make files. So that's what I've got here. Uh, and I'm just building uh, in this current directory, right? I'm already in my build directory. Okay, so CMake. Um, uh, oh, and I want to actually, sorry, look up here. Now you'll see in a few different spots here, I think in, let's see, I'm oh, sorry, in this guide here, let's see if they do it differently here. I guess, yeah, they're already CD'd into the build directory, uh, but you can pass a capital dash S for instance, if you want to source where that build directory is. Uh, so we have to find it there. Uh, so let's make sure we're in the right place. Okay, so that should do the trick for the build. Let's go ahead and hit enter and see what happens here. Uh, it says, oh, error here. Okay, this does not appear to contain CMake list here. Specify dash help for an option. Okay, so we're in the build directory. Let's see if we go back up one LLVM project. We have a CMake uh, file here. Ah, we might have to move up one more LLVM. Let's go ahead in that uh, directory here. Do we have CMakes there? Okay, we do. So. Um, here is our CMake list here. So let's go ahead and go back here. So again, just if you run into these errors, no problem here. Uh, again, this is where we are. Let's go back up here, make sure our path is correct and make sure we are in the LLVM project here. Now, if I hit enter here, CMake is going to run. So again, you do need to have CMake. That's a very useful tool for us. Um, and it's useful, you need some C compiler uh, or C++ compiler rather. So if you have G++, that's fine, you can build this. If you have another version of the Clang compilers, you could use those. I think at the time here, you need like a C++, oh, maybe 17 compiler or something in, in the documentation here. Uh, but that looks like it has uh, worked here. Now, if you do get any errors here, you might be just missing a dependency. Don't uh, panic. I would probably just delete the build directory and retry here. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and see what the directions state next here. So we can kind of follow along here. Uh, again, this is just giving you the note here that if you need to like rebuild something, then you can uh, go ahead and do that here. Uh, but we're just going to run make here. I'm going to try a parallel build of make. So what that means is uh, if I go back here, I'm going to do make dash J and 16. So that'll attempt to break this into different jobs here. And with really, really large projects like LLVM, for instance, and Clang compilers and so on, uh, this could fail, meaning that there could be different dependencies in the project. So usually what I recommend folks do is just, if it fails, just run it again and do a single parallel uh, or a single uh, sequential build here. So that would be just make here. But let's try with make-j16 uh, here, and it's going to kick off a build. This is a big project here, so I'm expecting this will take a little bit of time here. Um, so again, let's just go ahead and let that run for a little bit. And I'll talk a little bit more about the LLVM, uh, project while that's running here. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, let's get both of our windows up here. Um, and the last steps that we're going to need to do here, let me go ahead and, uh, pop this in here. Oh, it's 
taking a second here because it's building really, really fast here. Let's just move all these windows together. After I run make, I think I should be able to just run, uh, and you might need to be a sudo or a super user and do make install. We'll see if that works here. Uh, otherwise, a common use case for LLVM is to, again, add the path to the bin directory where it's going to build those executables. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give that a little bit of time here. Um, it is about 8% done. I'll pause the video here and unpause it again, and I'll tell you just about how much time it took to build when we resume. Alrighty, folks, so welcome back. I just unpaused here. It took about 45 minutes or so on my machine here to compile and build this, so no problem there. But you should see some of the things like building LLDB, for instance. Um, and if we scroll up, let's see if we have the client compilers. Again, it's building a bunch of different uh, tools here. Let's go ahead and scroll up here. A lot of these are LLDB. Um, actually, it might be way, way, way up here that we'll see uh, Clang eventually here. I did get some warnings here. That is normal uh, for the build here uh, and for, you know, really large C++ projects, I guess, to have some, uh, you know, work in progress things with warnings and so on. But anyways, let's just go ahead and look at the build directory here. So let's go ahead and CD into... Uh, our bin directory, short for binary, which should have everything set up here. And again, you can see there's a lot of projects here, but uh, ultimately the one that we care about uh, for this video here, Clang++ here, if I run the version here, we should see a newer version of Clang here, which is uh, Clang++ 20 here. And I thought we'd get at least uh, 18 here, but um, I guess my version numbers were off or whatever. But uh, basically that solves our problem here. We now have this available uh, for us here. So that's really, really nice here. Uh, now the last thing I'm going to try to do here is try to do a make install. Let's see if that works. I didn't see that in the directions here. Um, but the other thing that you basically want to do here is to try to get uh, this latest uh, Clang, for instance, on your uh, build path, just so it'll use that one by default here. Let me see if the make install is working. I didn't see that here. Uh, I'll type in my password here. And let's see if it'll install those paths there. because. Uh, because I do want the latest Clang compilers available here, that puts it on the path. And then when I build other projects that have dependencies, it'll just use this latest one here. Again, you might not want to do this, so then you would compile and go from your bin directory, uh, Clang++, but uh, this looks like it's doing the right thing here, which is really nice here. Uh, so let's go ahead and give that just a few seconds here. This is installing the paths and updating your path here right now. Uh, so you can see some instances of that here. Uh, so it looks like we are good to go here. And let's go ahead and, uh, and we're even getting some of the different uh, tools that are available. I see X-Ray, which is really cool. A lot of the LLVM infrastructure here. So let's go ahead and try that out here. If I do Clang++ version here. Um, now it's still giving me this version here uh, because I need to basically restart this shell here. So let's just bring in another terminal window here. Uh, and if I do Clang++ dash version, there we go. So it is working here and it looks like everything's been installed. So now you have the latest Clang here. Uh, let's try LLDB here as well, the version here. And you can see again, this is synchronized and it has the version 20. Uh, again, showing you the exact commit version and uh, everything here. So that's really, really nice here. It looks like we've got that set up here. So I'll go ahead and close this out here. And uh, well, that's basically it. So now you just need to preserve or make sure that you have your you know, build directory here. Don't delete it here. Uh, again, I usually leave these in my home directory. You might have some other setup or for your project, you know, figure out where you want to build these so you don't accidentally delete them, especially if you've just added this to your path here. Um, uh, anyways, um, so that's it. That's for the LLVM project. We can now do some really, really cool things like building. Uh, I do have some older videos on LLVM and how to actually do the compiler stuff. But again, the purpose of this particular video was to rebuild the Clang compiler. So check out LLVM.org if you want to get into some of the other stuff on the compiler infrastructure. Uh, but again, now you have this available. So with that said, folks, I hope you enjoyed this lesson as always. Feel free to leave some comments below if you enjoyed this. You can check out my website, courses.mshot.io, for more C, C++, and so on uh, projects if you want to go ahead and get started with uh, programming in C++ on the latest and greatest compiler that you've just installed here. Anyways, folks, thanks for your time and attention in this lesson. Hopefully you learned something. And again, if you have something to teach others in the community, feel free to, again, engage in the discussion. I love hearing from folks and the little tips and tricks that you have. Anyways, folks, with that said, thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.